How's it going everyone? This is Mark with At Tech, and in this video, we're gonna be showing you how to use the home and page up, page down, and delete keys on a Mac keyboard that doesn't have a number pad. Now, if you're coming from a Windows computer, chances are it has a number pad with it. And if it has that number pad, it also has the page up, page down, home, delete, and all of those sort of keys are present on the keyboard. In fact, even on Windows keyboards without the number pad, they still tend to find somewhere on the keyboard to put those keys. Even on laptops, we find those keys in many different places. In fact, even Apple's own keyboards with number pads have those keys on them. So if you got one that doesn't have a number pad or you got a Mac laptop, how do you do those functions without just pressing the arrow keys many times? Well, there's actually a way and it's pretty simple and easy to do. Not very much advertised on the keyboard itself is the function key. You probably have never used this before because there's not a lot of things you can do with it, but holding this function key allows you to use your arrow keys as all of the different page up and page down keys on the keyboard. So for example, if we hold the function key and we press the down arrow, that will take you page down. And holding the function key and pressing the up arrow will take you page up. Similarly, if you hold the function key and press the right arrow, it'll act as the end key, and then the left arrow will act as the home key. Now, what about the delete key? If you look at the keyboard on your Mac, chances are it says delete and not backspace like it does on a Windows computer. Pressing the delete key on your Mac keyboard actually gets rid of the letter to the left of it, how a normal backspace key would but there is no delete key, which usually deletes the letter to the right of it. So how do you do that? Well, it's the same way. You hold the function key and you press the delete key on your keyboard and it acts like a proper delete key rather than a backspace. So that's pretty much it. That is all you have to do. Again, up arrow is page up, down arrow is page down, right arrow is end, left arrow is up, and delete is the actual delete key, not acting as backspace anymore. And once you let go of the function key, they'll go back to their normal uses. So that's all for this video. Pretty simple and easy to do. If you have any questions, definitely let me know in the comment section below. And if this video helped you out, feel free to leave it a like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark with Hat Tech, and I'll see you in the next one.